Welcome to this 32nd episode of SpaceX in the News. Today we're going to start things off with the latest happenings with Starhopper, then we'll transition to Starship, both in Boca Chica, Texas and Cocoa, Florida. Then we'll briefly debrief SpaceX's latest launch, the RadarSat Constellation for Canada. We'll quickly talk space tourism, and then we'll finish this episode off with two honorable mentions featuring you guys. Let's get started. So Starhopper's launch site in Boca Chica, Texas has been very gaseous lately. In preparation for both its tethered flight and upcoming untethered flights, the launch site's tanks are being filled and pressure tests are underway. Venting has been seen on site coming out of Starhopper and the liquid oxygen was just delivered the other day. However, the engine that's going to lift Starhopper off the pad, SN5, has not been located on site yet. And day by day, its next flight keeps getting pushed back. As of yesterday evening, temporary road closures are now scheduled for June 20th and June 21st, June 22nd, June 24th, 25th, and 26th. And then just down the road from Starhopper, Starship has been getting polished up this week, and the structure next to it's growing even taller. But other jigs have been located on site, and it appears that the SpaceX workers are now constructing fuel tanks for Starship. Now, it's not confirmed that's exactly what these things are. However, that's the consensus of the overall SpaceX community online. And I just want to give a quick shout out to the YouTube channel Lab Padre. He's been doing a great job documenting these vehicles down in South Texas. Let's go ahead and visit his channel, subscribe, and show him your love. Meanwhile, on the other side of the continent, the Mark II Starship in Cocoa, Florida is getting taller. Just the other day, the nose cone was placed on top of the rocket body. And I just like to throw it out there that I am genuinely inspired by both of these SpaceX teams. They're doing a great job. And I also want to thank you guys, my community members. Last week, I asked you to step up to the plate and send me any pictures you have of the Starship Mark II over in Cocoa, Florida, and a lot of you did. I got tons of emails and tons of pictures. In fact, I got so many that my mods over on Discord opened up a brand new channel for you guys titled Media, where you can submit all the pictures and photos and videos that you would like. Maybe some of them will be featured on this show. I can't wait to see all the pictures and footage you guys are gonna share here pretty soon. And I say pretty soon because Elon's making comments like this. You know, hopefully later this year, we should be doing test flights of Starship um, out of uh, South Texas and, and, the, and, uh, and the Cape. Um, this is a crazy looking vehicle. Ah, so. Oh yeah, Starship 2019. The other day, a Falcon 9 rocket launched SpaceX's most expensive payload yet, three Constellation satellites for the Canadian government. It took off out of Vandenberg Air Force Base in California on a very foggy morning, which allowed for some great coverage of the rocket coming out of the low layer clouds, as well as the booster successfully landing back in the fog, and the three satellites were deployed successfully. And this was the last SpaceX West Coast launch for 2019. It appears NASA's looking for more funding for their Artemis project, which is gonna take them back to the moon by 2024. The agency just just went public that it will allow space tours to visit the International Space Station starting next year. And following up that announcement, Bigelow Aerospace tweeted that they secured up to four dedicated SpaceX launches to fly up to 16 people to the space station. And if you visit their website, you can get an estimate for your ticket, which is currently about $52 million. Do you think they take cash or credit? Okay, let's wrap up this video with our very special honorable mentions. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys to vote for a LEGO International Space Station model that had been re-entered into a contest. Well, I'm happy to announce that this week it was announced that the LEGO ISS model won with about 50% of the overall votes, proving once again that there is a huge desire for space and space exploration among the LEGO community. In fact, this model reached 10,000 supporters on LEGO Ideas on two separate occasions, but got rejected by LEGO both times. The set will now be designed and built by LEGO engineers and made an official set and available to the public next year. So our second honorable mention topic is also geared toward children or young adults and it's a coloring book and it was made by one of you the author is a subscriber to this channel and he's been emailing me back and forth the last few weeks really good guy he's a mechanical engineer that recently left his job to start his new venture because he's also kind of like an entrepreneur his name's seth mckay and he's trying to inspire the youth to get into engineering with his little engineer coloring books he's got several of them but of course our favorite would be his new one that just released on amazon the other day this is actually a really cool book i'm really impressed by like the the illustrations and it gives you some information down at the bottom of the pages. Now, I can't color, and my nieces like to make fun of me, but they'll really enjoy this. It features all kinds of rockets. You got SpaceX, you got Blue Origin, NASA, you got the shuttle. Really cool. As a teacher, I think inspiring the youth is awesome. I mean, our generation are the ones building the rockets that are going to take us to space, but these kids are the ones that are actually going to go and start colonizing. We need to inspire them. So show Seth some love. Check out his books on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. If you made it to the end, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Godspeed.
Big shout out and thank you to all my Cloud Licking patrons. If it wasn't for them, this show would not be what it is today. And if you enjoy watching these videos, please consider becoming a patron yourself. For as little as $1, you can get access to more Cloud Licking content. There's a link in the description. And hey, while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode, and give this video a like. God bless you.